Hi, my name is Callie Winkowski. I'm an academic technologist at the University of Minnesota. Today I wanted to explain to you how to import your course to a new semester when you've had Zoom meetings integrated into a previous semester inside Canvas. So let's go ahead and get started. Here I have a course from spring of 2020 that had Zoom integrated and you can see they had a great number of meetings. Now, when you go to your new course site and you are trying to copy your Canvas site and you select all content and you select to shift the dates, in this case I'm copying from spring to fall. Okay, so this is usually how I allow it to shift the dates. If you do this and you select all content, there is a problem that you will run into. So I've already done this import and I'm going to show you here. So here is the course where I have imported everything. And if you look at the Zoom integration, there appears to be nothing here. There were no previous meetings, no upcoming meetings. So the old Zoom meetings do not import into new Zoom meetings. However, they are still hiding in the course in the to-do list. So I'll just show you this really quick here underneath the course syllabus, which shows the to-do list. In this case, in spring, the courses, the online classes started later. So if you look at this, um, these are office hours and lecture meetings and other things. And what happened is those meetings shifted forward into the new class as calendar events. If you go to your homepage, so if you do this by mistake, you need to clean those up because if students find those meetings, they will get confused. From your homepage, you can go and view the calendar just for this course. So I've opened that. I'm going to close this here and show you that typically you show this initially as by month. If you click this to agenda, you can see all the items that have due dates or dates in them. And if I scroll down to where the Zoom meeting started, here they all are. These will appear in students to-do lists and on the syllabus, uh, the syllabus function inside Canvas. If you click this or a student finds this and clicks this and then clicks to join the meeting, this actually opens the Zoom meeting that Lindsay set up last semester. Lindsay might even wind up getting an email that somebody's waiting in her Zoom meeting. So you do need to go through and delete these if you mistakenly imported Zoom meetings from the previous semester. From this agenda setting in calendar, it's pretty easy to delete these. So you can see them all here. This is the calendar event icon. You would just need to go through them and get them all deleted. It's a little tedious. There is a better way. When we go back to importing, instead of importing all content, please select specific content. When you click import, what you get down here is a place for you to actually select the content. It's a listing of everything in the class. And this is a great way I'm gonna recommend from here on out, you just always do this because it allows you to not copy forward things you wouldn't normally be using. If you were doing all content, this would be everything. But what you want to do instead is uncheck the things you do not want to move. If you click a dr one of these arrows, it will show you the additional things inside that. So for example, here are the calendar events. This course had 102 of them. And I know that this instructor didn't set any calendar events. So these are all the Zoom events that were created through the Zoom integration when she created the Zoom events for her class. So all I have to do is uncheck this so that I'm copying forward everything except calendar events. You may also want to consider not moving forward your old announcements. You may also want to consider not moving forward any external tools you have integrated like, so let's summarize. The problem is that if you created Zoom meetings using the Zoom integration inside Canvas, it creates a calendar event for that Zoom meeting. Those calendar events are copied forward when you import the course if you did not select the content and choose not to import your calendar events. So this fix is to always select content when you're importing into a new course site and make sure you do not choose your Zoom calendar events. If you do accidentally choose them, you would just go to view the calendar for this specific class 
and change it to agenda setting and then just start working your way through and deleting those old events. So the good news is it's not creating actual new Zoom meetings, but those are links to the old Zoom meetings from last semester. So it can be confusing for students. It will be important that you clean this up. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great semester.